guys, welcome. It's 25 to 4 in the morning. Um, I done my hair, guys. Do you like it? It's a red colour. I love it. It's like shiny. Oh my god. I, I need to get um, shampoo for colour hair. Um, but yeah, I, I love the colour. It turned out really well with the live colour that I've had from Home Bargains. The Poundland one wasn't great at all. But yeah, um, I need to sit down a minute because my foot is hurting. Yeah, I done something to it. Um, yeah, my my ankle is hurting crazy. Um, to fact I can't put no weight on it as much. So I am using this for a while. It's difficult because I can't put no weight. You know, with one walking stick I can't. Um. In fact, I may have to get crutches, not too sure, actually, but, yeah, I can't put any weight on my foot. But I don't know what I've done, possibly I could have sprained it somewhere. I did actually go to the bottom of the garden, but considering that we got a ramp outside, um, I don't know if it was that yesterday, but must have aggravated it somewhere so yeah and I did have an injury on it before so that could be a reoccurring um so yeah I can't get back to sleep went to the toilet normally if it's early hours of the morning sometimes I can't settle to go back to sleep but possibly I will later on um it's like generally I do get very little tidy up before I go back up to bed um, and see how it goes. But yeah, do you like my hair guys? It is a red colour, if you can see it. You can see a little bit of red in the tints. I do love it guys. Obviously I missed a little bit there but you know. Um, it's bound to happen. If I give it like a quick wash and that, I think, you know. But I need hair colour, guys. Uh, shampoo. Um, I'm running low on one, actually. And yeah, I don't want to go out when I'm feeling like achy. Um, feeling. Um, it's not like Guinness, it's just like my knee's playing up with my ankle, I can't put any weight on it. Um, and yeah, because sometimes my knee gives, my knees do give in sometimes. Like I was walking around Alistair doing a social distancing shop for general things that we needed. And felt like if my knees was going to give in because of the osteoarthritis um, possibly is that in my ankles but I can feel it in my thumbs sometimes and possibly if it's in all in my joints then I'm not going to be happy <laughs> put it that way so um, yeah I'm just relaxing I'm going to do myself a nice nice cup of tea and we'll catch you later guys hi guys welcome to today's vlog it's late in the afternoon as i've been doing homeschooling with thomas and amy's gonna do homeschooling a little bit later so she's actually playing on computer playing roblox blocks is it in bloxburg or not no no it's a lot uh, it's an RB that she's playing. So it is currently coming up to half past three. And I'm going to show you what I had for my birthday. Ah, she liked my hair now, guys. This is a different hair colour that I've been uh, uh, vlogging since I think it was Saturday. Yes, I think it was. But I went in town back again and I have bought a live colour, red. Ah! <laughs> so
so amazing. I love the colour. So I'm going to show you what I had for my birthday. Bear with me guys. So this is a 5 kilo salter. I needed a salter because uh, my old one is going and it's an ancient one. This is a new one and I love it. I'll show you. So I'm opening the box. I did open it the other day just to check and yes. Because hubby went to need to check to see if it was the right one. He's ordered it from Argos. And they, I, it's got batteries in there already. Here it is guys. Oh my word, that's amazing. Can tell the difference with uh, the other one because the other one's quite thick. But this one, once I turn it on, I don't know if you can see it guys when I turn it on, it's got a zero there. See it guys? So basically, I don't know what does it do, but um, I need to put it flat down, yes. I need to put it flat down guys on the surface so that's understandable so say like if I had um, uh, I'll zero it anyway and basically it's got millilitres um, I don't know what FT in ounces it is and grams and pounds and ounces millilitres back again it, this is awesome but if i hold that it goes off voila so yeah a salter for my birthday guys i've also had a lovely gift from my sister so thank you sister um debbie she's on some vlogs um Possibly a link her in, so go and check her out. Um, if I show you what an amazing candle, it smells lush. Oh, it is gorgeous. It is Sam Jones scented candle. So that's one of my gifts. I did have some chocolate, but I've eaten them. They were really, really nice. And oh my word. This is an inspiration too. It is so lovely. I've had that for my birthday gift too. And I did like it. But I think after that I'll like my sister's. Because that's an amazing smell. Hi guys. Welcome. I've done a little bit of a few book for Amy. Our daughter. So she had to decided to change her bedroom around and where to put the bed so basically I we have done it together but I have been left alone to actually tidy up because they are downstairs being lazy so I'm going to show you guys where her bed is and where everything is. So this is her doorway. Uh, mind the photo guys and the building blocks will be in Thomas's bedroom. So here's Amy's dressing up doll outfits. Um, her toy bucket is quite a large bucket to be honest. Um, we bought this chair for the dolls to actually sit on it. Rubbish bag, I guess. I mind the rubbish. Her stuff that needs to be sorted out. Her bed used to be where the wardrobe is. So, like, once you come in, the cabinet was here and her bed was there and another cabinet. But she moved that cabinet right there. Ah, basically, the wardrobe's here now. We've stuff on it. That is done it really nice. We moved her um, shelving unit with the radio on. I'm still currently tidying that bit up the top. It was there. 
So basically, we haven't got nothing blocking the heater now except those. And it's going to be much more warmer for Amy now. And her bed is near the window. But she's got uh, another cabinet, bedside cabinet right there. With uh, her undies and socks and whatever in there. And his personal stuff. So, yeah. Mind the blackboard. TV right there. House has been moved because it was right here and bed there. So, like, when we pull it out, I think if I do come in here or Thomas, we'd be right, like, in line. <laughs> but it should be alright anyway. So, we're going to keep that anyway, but there for now. But Amy's got this massive, and I mean, if she looks after it, a massive playing area here. And I mean, oh my word, it is massive. <laughs> Bedroom. I did finish it off. I put it a rug there. Um, I did put a table there, but it depends if she wants to keep a clock. But she needs to do her homework on here, or you know, any homeschooling. This we'll have to sell. Um, I moved the wardrobe slightly so Thomas's boxes can go there, stacked up really tidy because Amy's got big bedroom. Following from earlier, because my phone crashed and it didn't have memory, this is her drawers, as I mentioned. Her bed is there, with her uniform on there for now, as I'm going to put them in the wardrobe. Those clothes are a little bit too small for her now, so basically that that's like a 7 to 8 year old, but she's 9 to 10 now, or 10 to 11. Um... Her house with the two teddies in, they're cute. And yeah, I need to clean all of that. So then that's her playing house. And we've got a TV in the corner with a free view there. So it's much easier. Now the aerial is coming down. I did put it across. But yeah, I think um, I'm going to leave it like that because I don't like cats in Clorina. And this is her bed, guys. So yeah, um, I did tidy it, I put it all her toys there, it's like if she learns to actually put her toys there after when she wakes up, that should be alright, but her toy box, I may need to put it over there in the corner, and yeah, it's a, it's a lot tidier, she's got plenty of room in here now guys, and I mean there's loads of room so she can play. On a rainy day or something so yeah look at that space she could do exercises in here 